Hello, my name is Martin and if I may I'd like to speak to you about Christian persecution. So what do we mean by Christian persecution? Well as you all know followers of Christ who believe he's the Son of God and who live their lives or try to live their lives according to his teaching are Christians. Persecution may be described as deliberate and persistent mistreatment or cruel treatment of a person or a group of people. So Christian persecution is obviously the mistreatment of the followers of Christ. Christian persecution is, is nothing new. As you know, you know from the story of the baby Jesus that Saint, an angel appeared to Saint Joseph and asked him to take Mary and the baby Jesus away to, to flee into Egypt for refuge because King Herod had heard about this Messiah and he feared that this, this child would become a king and would be a threat to him. So you know too that he ordered the, the, the killing then of all, all the, the newborn baby boys in Jerusalem which caused great grief and suffering obviously. And then further on from that in the early Christian times the apostles and the, the disciples who went forward to, to bring the teaching of Jesus around the world as, uh, the known world then they weren't uh, welcomed everywhere they went and they were persecuted and many of them died for their faith. They wouldn't deny Jesus and they wouldn't adore the, the Roman gods or other false gods. And sadly Christian persecution has continued down to the present time. In many countries today around the world Christians are suffering greatly for their faith. A recent report shows that 245 million Christians are living in places where they experience high levels of persecution because of their faith. Over 5,000 Christians have been killed for their faith. Over 2,000 churches and Christ Christian buildings have been attacked. And over 3,000 believers have been detained without trial, sentenced or imprisoned. And it's estimated that Christians are the victims of 80% of all persecution in the world today. So they're the, the most persecuted people in the world. In the Middle East, Christianity has existed for many, many centuries. But is now in danger of disappearing due to persecution of the followers of Christ. Before 2003, there were 1.5 million Christians in Iraq. Today there are less than 120,000. In many countries in Africa, like Nigeria, thousands of Christians have been murdered, villages have been attacked, churches burned and bombed, and whole communities wiped out. Four to five million Christians have been displaced, and hundreds and thousands of them are living in camps. Priests and seminarians have been abducted or kidnapped, and are held until their parishioners, who are often very poor, have raised the money to pay a ransom for their release. All this going on, there is very little media coverage on the TV or the radio. And in response to this, then um, a group in, in our parish, we decided to get together and we were going to, our main objective was to try and raise awareness about this situation. Even with the COVID, COVID epidemic, we were determined to try to get our message out. Our local priest became part of our group and we received great assistance from an organisation called Aid to the Church in Aid, which is a worldwide organisation and it, it supports communities that are persecuted. It, it provides food and shelter and medicine as well as personnel. It's a wonderful organisation and they provided us with a lot of the materials that we needed to, you know, to raise this awareness. For the Aid to the Church in Aid to organise a thing called Week of Witness, they've been doing it I think for four or five years to the 4th of December. And they organised a series of events. They had webinars and they had some international speakers on those webinars, like talking about, you know, what 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 they know is going on, like in in terms of Christian persecution and what 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 reaction and what what they're doing about it. The activities that we got involved in. One, the first thing we did was uh, in our parish, we we had a um, a Nigerian priest, Father Peter Johnson, came to speak, on you know on the webcam. Bill. And Father Peter has experienced um, persecution himself, so many people were touched like by what he had to say. And we have now that 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 talk he gave is now available like on YouTube, and schools and so on are using it, and, and we're very pleased about that to discuss it and and you know create awareness among the students. 
Another thing they do is they, um, they get churches where they can to illuminate the church in red on what they call Red Wednesday. That's the 25th of November. So our church, our local church, and we were involved also in eight other churches. So nine churches in total that we supported to light up the exterior of the church in red on the 25th of November. And that created a lot of discussion. People were asking, why is the church lit up? And that was one of our objectives, to get people talking about it. Another thing we also did was we, we organised the coordinated ringing of bells at 3 o'clock on Friday the 27th of, of November. The 3 o'clock was symbolic of the time that Christ died. And again, that created a lot of um, people with curiosity. People asked them, why are they ringing the bells? And they were, some of the churches recorded the ringing of the bells. And there's lots of photographs now on, on social media of the, the, the illumination of the churches in red and the ringing of the bells. So again, that's, while the Week of Witness is over, we're continuing to use, to use the media that we have to, you know, to promote awareness. We also wrote letters to um, ambassadors of country where persecution has taken place, like Nigeria. We also wrote letters to RTE and we've got some little response from them. Also prayer and prayer was a very important part of, of our activities as well. We, we organised adoration in our parish and rosary groups and that, they, you know, prayed for persecuted Christians. So for the future then, we plan to continue raising awareness of the persecution of Christians by keeping with, on the media and getting publicising any opportunity we can about this dreadful activity that's going on that so few people know about. Perhaps you might like to discuss it with your students and encourage them to discuss this with their parents. And um, they aid to the church and they produce very good booklets that are a very good resource for, for discussing this and for really seeing what's going on around the world. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for, for listening to me and may I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. God bless.